Are you talking to someone new? <laughs> yes, I am. Okay guys, so there's something that I want to tell you about. I know it's like really soon and sudden, like I understand that, but timelines are not a thing. And you guys know that with me. Like you could know someone for years and years and not feel super close to them and then know someone for like a couple days and instantly feel like a super strong connection. And I know there's a lot of people out there who relate to that. It's literally just all about energy, connection, the way someone makes you feel, who they are as a person. And like, it's like when you know, you know type thing. And I don't wanna sit here and talk about my ex or anything like that, but I knew her for almost a year and never remotely felt like this. So that's how I know, like timelines are a load of crap. There are such beautiful stories of people who like literally get married within a week of knowing each other and they stay together for 30 years plus, but then there's people who knew each other for 10 years, get married, and then they're only together for a year. It's just like, what? It just goes to show that like, it's really just not a thing. And I'm over here just trying to make like rationalizations with you guys. Cause I feel like so many of you are gonna be like, Amberlynn, what are you doing? But that's okay, this is my life, this is my story, this is just, I, you guys, I feel thoroughly so happy right now. I have a girlfriend, yes, I do. And we are in a long distance relationship. I want to just like share this side of me. I'm not a secret and I feel special, I feel loved, I feel important, I feel like a priority. Like those aren't feelings that I've felt for a very long time. Like I feel genuinely seen like as a person. We will be meeting in person literally before this month is even over. Like plane ticket bought, like all planned out and I am thoroughly so excited. Like in the past, like I see red flags in relationships. I have red flags. People have red flags, it's a thing. But when I would see the red flags, I would admit like, oh, that is hardcore red flag. Or, oh, that's uh, that's triggering my BPD. Or, oh, wow, this relationship is making my mental illness actually worse. Like I see these things and it's like, I get so like delusional in relationships where it's like, I'm able to talk about these red flags and see them and whatever, but like I make excuses for them. With this relationship, I haven't seen a red flag. And I'm over here like, is that a red flag? That there is no red flags? See, that's just me like wanting to self-sabotage pretty much because I'm not used to something that feels so like calm, like a soft love. And I strictly remember a couple months ago writing in my journal saying how bad I craved like a soft, gentle love. And it's something that like I haven't gotten to experience because it just seems like Every relationship I've been in has just been so toxic. I'm not just blaming it on the other person, I'm also blaming it on myself because when I get into a relationship, my BPD is like set off. You know, a lot of people suffer with that. Like when they're in a relationship, like it's just so much worse. And it's like, I can sit here and say, I don't know why that is, but like realistically I do because I've literally talked to a therapist about it. My BPD is absolutely triggered when, when I feel like someone's lying to me or hiding something from me or they're like whole energy shifts or when I feel like I'm gonna be abandoned for like no reason, just like so many different things. And it's like, I'm super like intuitive. At a young age, I had to very much like pay attention to my surroundings. So as an adult, I still do that. And sometimes I hate that like, I notice every tiny little thing and like, then my BPD gets triggered and like blah, blah, blah. And I've actually found coping mechanisms and I'm able to be self-aware and in tune with, with myself when I realized Amberlynn, like the reality versus like what you're seeing with like what I like to say, part of my BPD brain, those two things are completely separate and different. And it took me a long time to like get to that point because like once I was diagnosed and like I understood myself, I was able to find that like rational side of me and like, I'm not perfect, I never will be. And I know neither will anybody else. And that's very much why like I have been in these relationships where my BPD, I get triggered, then my partner gets triggered and it's just like a constant like battle between the two. And I have found that like in this current relationship, like I haven't had that. Like my mental health has improved since I even just started talking to her. Like it was like an instant connection. I know a lot of people like to like talk badly about long distance relationships, but 
It's 2024, it's what people do. There's so many different ways of meeting people and there's a lot of like successful long distance relationships that do happen. And there's a lot of ones that fail as well, but that goes for also people that you meet at the grocery store or at a bar or whatever it may be. Like there's failed relationships and successful relationships. And any way that you meet somebody is a long distance relationship, something I always want to be in. No, we both thoroughly see each other together for a very long time. And she's genuinely really, really special to me. I cannot wait to meet her in person. Like we're gonna have so much fun together. And her name is Tommy. So yeah, I'm really excited. I just, I have to share this with you guys. And I know like, this is crazy and probably coming out of nowhere. But it's like the universe is like, we got you, Amberlynn. We got you, Tommy. Like, you guys are about to be happy together and like, we really are. And it's like, we're so similar in the way that we love. And I have so like strongly just wanted that in my life. The way that I love someone, I want to be loved in that way as well. And it's like, I finally found it because it's like, I give so much of myself, I give my all and I'm such a romantic and I'm super mushy gushy and sweet. And it's like, she's the same way. And it's like, oh my God, I'm like, ah, ugh. it's just wonderful. And you guys literally speaking of Tommy, if you guys don't know, I'm in a long distance relationship. I'm actually very happy. I am meeting her very soon. When I tell you very soon, I mean, literally it's so close. So like by the time you see this, I might have already met her. I'm just like genuinely so happy right now and it feels really good. And I've been so just like distracted and that's why I haven't been filming or anything. I'm gonna do better. I'm actually thinking about doing a live stream. You guys, we're currently 13 hours before I meet my girlfriend in person. Right now I'm just feeling like it's unreal. It doesn't feel real to me. But a few hours ago, it felt so real and I had like butterflies in my stomach and I was like nervous. Right now it is 10.30 p.m. and her plane lands at 10.30 a.m. So I feel like it's probably gonna be like an hour after that is when I'm actually gonna see her for the first time. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys, so in an hour, I will be meeting her. I do wanna answer some of your guys' questions really quickly. Just like a few things that I've noticed. One, how long have I known her? Literally today marks exactly a month since she messaged me for the first time. The energy is giving me very much like when you know, you know. I was actually just watching Bobby Altoff's new episode of her podcast today and Jelly Roll was on there with his wife. They literally got married after knowing each other for only a month and they've been together for a long time, since 2015. The next question is, has she seen my body? Does she know about my size? Yes, we FaceTime a lot. And normally like when I've FaceTimed in the past with like partners, I like show the ceiling. I'm very much like this coded, like my space angles. But with her, I'm super comfortable. And I'm like, this is me. Like I've shown her, my legs, my body, my just everything. Another question is, is she moving in? No, she's just visiting. She's gonna be here for a few days. Who paid for the plane ticket? She did. And she also rented a car, literally just in passing. I told her my favorite car is a Jeep. My dream is to drive a Jeep if I had my license, even though that's probably never gonna happen. So she literally went and surprised me and rented a freaking Jeep. Like what? Talk about goals. Guys, I'm literally in a Jeep for the first time in my life. Oh my God. This actually goes down. I can't believe this is a thing right now. <laughs> okay. Oh. You're doing a picture? <laughs> You're so cute. You're cute. At the bar drunk by. I named him. His name is Adrian. Oh I can't believe it. Why? Because he's from the 1800. I think it's a girl. She's got a pink collar. Well, he's gender neutral. Oh, like the with the pistachios. With the pistachios. He likes pistachios. Okay you guys, so she's currently in the shower and it's been a few days that she's been here and perfection. We have done so much since she's been here and it's just been like, honestly, it feels like a dream. Like I need to be pinched multiple times. 
my life is literally changing and it's gonna change even more. So I hope you guys are ready. All right, so she left like 10 minutes ago. And yes, there was definitely some crying. Like everything went a million trillion times better than like either of us could ever imagine. And I already just like miss her so much. And she's just the most amazing person, truly like the most amazing person I've ever gotten the privilege of knowing. It's crazy because you meet so many people in your lifetime. Like you think people are great. And then you finally meet that one person that like changes your whole outlook on just like life in general and people and love. I currently want to just go curl up in a ball and just like cry. We had so much fun together and like we mesh perfectly together like it's crazy and you guys know i love journaling and it's not that she like likes journaling and stuff but she enjoys stuff like this which is very amberlynn coded so we got this me you us it's a book to fill out together so we started it the other day it's literally just like the cutest thing and just like seeing it sit here is just like so freaking hard i'm just genuinely so happy <laughs> i know i'm crying but it's just like i'm sad that she had to leave but it's not the end Things are about to about to change for sure. And I'm just excited for this next journey of my life. But right now I just feel a little sad. I feel like I'm gonna go through like a little mini depression. It's just coming down from such a high high is like, um, it's kind of hard, truly. But fuck, I am so fucking in love and happy and just like, ugh, I can't wait for you guys to meet her.